very good evening. Thank you for joining us. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, received the Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, First Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ali Al Aradi, First Deputy Speaker of the Shura Council, Jamal Fakhro, members of the Representative and Shura Council, in the presence of senior state officials. His Royal Highness confirmed the importance to evaluate and support investments, especially regarding legislation, pointing out that every developmental and economic activity is of interest to the government, and any delay that would affect the people of Bahrain would be unacceptable to ensure their time and financial framework. The Prime Minister said that democracy and openness should support developmental and economic activities and enhance investment. He pointed out that democracy and freedom should not be confined in the scope of politics and should be benefited from in every field. Israel Highness confirmed the modern technology provided several ways of social communications, stressing that these technologies are often misused for terrorism acts and to threaten security, while it's could be used for the purpose of development and progress and for the improvement of the people's living standards. He stressed that regional and international challenges require enhancing national unity and cohesion.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Gdabiya Palace. The cabinet expressed its congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, to the people of Bahrain, and to the Arab and Islamic nations on the advent of Eid al Fitr. The cabinet recalled the sad demise of the Saudi Minister of State, member of the cabinet advisor, and personal envoy of the custodian of the two holy mosques and general supervisor of foreign affairs, His Royal Highness Prince Saud bin Faisal bin Abd Aziz Al Saud. The cabinet recalled its supportive stances to Bahrain and expressed its condolences to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Interior Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdulaziz, and to the Deputy Crown Prince and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to follow up implementing the constitutional procedures regarding raising the state budget topic to His Majesty the King and stressed on the importance of commitment to the state budget. The cabinet approved a memorandum of a protocol on an agreement made between the Kingdom of Bahrain and USA regarding establishing a free trade area. The cabinet approved a memorandum regarding a ministerial project of regulating the legal fees of lawsuits. The cabinet approved a memorandum regarding amending some provisions of the organization list of plumbing. And the cabinet reviewed a memorandum regarding establishing a new bridge on the location of the clock tower roundabout at Rafah. After the cabinet meeting, the Minister of Information Affairs, Isa Al Hamadi, held a press conference outlining the issues discussed during the meeting. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister today met His Excellency Mr. Alok Sinha Kumar, the newly appointed Ambassador of the Republic of India to the Kingdom of Bahrain at Rafah Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness noted the steady growth of bilateral ties between Bahrain and India, including partnership agreements that help to bolster cooperation, particularly in relation to economic and commercial development. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of exchanging visits in further reinforcing bilateral ties and noted the positive outcomes of His Majesty King Hamad's recent trip to the Republic of India and the official visits that followed. His Royal Highness went on to welcome Ambassador Kumar to Bahrain and wished him every success in his new role. His Royal Highness emphasized the shared commitment to further develop ties across all sectors and reinforce existing partnerships. His Royal Highness went on to highlight the Indian community's contribution to the construction and development of the Kingdom of Bahrain. For his part, Ambassador Kumar expressed his gratitude and appreciation for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and welcomed His Royal Highness's support for further enhancing relations between Bahrain and India.